This is a quick video on how to get the latest version of EMA 2K running in EasyRPG. Now I'm making this video because there are a bunch of videos out there that kind of show this, but not really, and they don't really give the best information, and they kind of lead you to some wrong places. Um, so I'm making this in order to actually have something out there that is correct. So um, the first step is to change your system locale to Japanese. Um, so I'm going to open up the control panel. Um, it's viewed by category. So if you don't see this, you might need to change it. Um, click this, then administrative change system locale Japanese Japan don't click this uh, check mark here and hit OK it's gonna prompt you for a system restart so so do that once you've um, restarted your device next steps are to just download a bunch of things so you need easy RPG um, this is the downloads page that'll be linked um, I'm gonna grab the official version not the continuous build the 64 bit um, next is the translations, so this is from GitHub of uh, Yume Nikki Online. Um, so we're going to use their, their translations, which includes translations for a bunch of games, but we're just going to use the two key ones. So go to code and download zip. Next we need bandizip. This is going to be a, a program that unzips files and it just handles the Japanese text better. So click on free download. Um, we also need the game itself. So um, here is the correct wiki, Yume Wiki, um, not fandom. Um, their downloads page has the updated version, current version. Um, right now it's 0.120C, so you need to download this. And um, see right here, there's 120C as a patch for 120B. You would use this if you had uh, 0.120B um, to update the version, but um, that's not what this is. So we're going to do 120C patch 6, which has one patches 1 to 5. Um, so download this in here. You're going to click this and hit download now. So once you've got everything, oh, there's also one more thing, which is the RTP. There's going to be a direct download link to that. Um, you're just going to hit download and um, it's going to download it. So there's no, there's no website really that you have to navigate. Um, so once you have everything, you should have these things here. Um, install Bandies at first. I'm not going to show this. It should be super straightforward. So just do that first. Um, once you've done that, um, we're going to grab uh, Easy RPG. So it's just going to have this player.exe. Now I'm going to put this in another folder new folder on my desktop player.exe um, then I'm gonna grab um, the actual game which is this you can tell by the size um, go up a few folders and then you want to just drag this here All right, that's done extracting. Um, now you're going to, you could, uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but you need to do all of these things. So next I'll just do the, the RTP. Um, so drag this into a new folder on your desktop and run the exe file.
Um, it's going to look a little bit different, but you're just going to hit this that says like N to proceed. And just hit OK. Very fast. Um, so that's going to make it file my program files in the folder called ASCII. Um, so open this folder, click on the RPG, going to select all. Um, open your easy RPG folder or this folder that has the, the game and the, the player. Um, so you can open this and then open that and then you're going to drag everything into here. Okay, continue. Replace everything. Um, okay, now at this point you can just get rid of that. Um, next we need to patch the game in this case. So it's going to be the same process as the, as the RP, RTP. Um, um, so this is the first folder, right? So you just drag these contents into the same place. Um, so you want to, yes, overwrite everything. Apply to all files. Um, next is the translations. So within that new folder on my desktop, I'm going to just stick this here. You don't really have to, but I will just do it for the sake of doing it. Um, open this in a separate window. Um, open this folder that has the game. Make a new folder called language. And then uh, see we're in the translations here for Tuki. And you're just going to open this language folder and copy the uh, language of your choice. So it's going to be in EN for English. Um, and that's everything. So uh, now just open player.exe. Use the arrows in Z key, uh, Z to proceed and X to cancel, just like typical RPG games, RPG maker games. Um, and just proceed here. And there, the game is working. So with easy RPG, you can hold F to fast forward and G to go even faster. So that's a really nice feature. Alright, so that's really it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, definitely leave a comment. I would also recommend joining the Yumituki Discord and asking people there if you're running into trouble. Alright, thanks. Bye.